I'm very much more awake and very much more alert to where I was, what I was doing, what I am doing, and what I hope to be doing. However you approach life, whatever you do, if you try to think of new ways of doing it and make something out of nothing, that is art. I happen to use a paintbrush. I think it's important to say you're an artist if that's what you're compelled to be. I am driven to paint. I'm impelled to paint. It makes me so happy. I'm Tom Schaller. I often write and say that art asks more questions than it answers. I believe that's true because I think in those questions, that's where you find the art, trying to move you from wherever you are to wherever you're going. I try really hard not to be too seduced by the subject, by the thing. Don't paint the thing that you see that inspires you. There's something under that. There's something about that thing or that scene or that person or whatever it may be that made you feel something. But I like to mess around with the fourth dimension, the passing of time. I try to complement the past with the future. That comes in choice of subjects too. If you paint roads, bridges, uh, stairways, for me particularly bridges, as a, my inner nine-year-old is just in love with bridges because they invite the viewer inside the painting and the viewer can imagine themselves crossing from one side to the other. And there you have a story. The natural world versus the man-made world, that tension coming together just affords the artist enormous, endless possibilities. A lot of watercolorers, I think when they start out, are confused, they want answers. I would say uh, materials, because there are so few, couldn't be more important. I love pure colors to blend on the surface of the paper and within the fibers of the paper. Paper, probably the single most important, Thing you can buy. Another thing about watercolor I love is that it's a subtractive technique, meaning all the light comes from the paper itself. Another reason why the paper is so important. What you paint as a watercolor is, are the shadows that give light its life. Everything unfolded in my life as it should have. I don't think I would have been ready earlier to, to take on the role of a fine artist. One reason I love teaching, especially when I get a lot of younger people, it's just very encouraging to me to look forward to the future, you know, long after I'm gone, that uh, there will be people out there looking at ways to make life a better place to live. And art is the way you do it. I paint a lot of on-site plein air, and there's always people talking to you and traffic noises and trains and planes, none of that bothers me. There is a zone that you fall into when you're painting and you feel you've hit a stride. The best advice I can give is not to take too much advice. Deep down, we all know what we want to do. Look at the work of masters, learn, definitely learn, but don't be too swayed by what other people tell you you should or shouldn't do.